is going on guys? My name is Ramen Back Games from Ramen Reviews here with another podcast. It's been quite a bit since our last one and I am thoroughly excited to talk about it. We're not going to be doing a long podcast today, but I think it's something you guys are going to still enjoy. Uh, today I have with me Oliver from Oliver Smiley Reacts or Oliver Reacts and Kawaii Crew from the Kawaii Crew re- uh, Reactions as well. Uh, now call like- the Kawaii Crew Reloaded. Yes, because reasons. In fact, why don't you go introduce <laughs> you guys yourselves really quickly. Uh, let's see. I'm the Kawaii crew. Uh, I tied paws for a living. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> oh, damn it. uh, yeah, I have a, I'm an anime reactor. I have a reaction channel with only 138, but that's because 138 subs. But, uh, for those who don't know, that's because my old channels got terminated by YouTube and I, I got fucked. Yeah. So yeah, that was nice. But yeah, uh, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. And I'm Oliver from Smiley Reacts, and currently I've been sick for the last two weeks, so my reactions have been on hold, and it's really painful because I really do want to react because there's a lot of a lot of the show current shows are ending that I really need to get round to, and it's painful. So yeah, yeah, I'm I'm <laughs> I think we're all a little bit behind, except for maybe Kawaii Crew. I think he's all caught up with everything. Um, but yeah, just the three of us. Lar is completely busy. He actually. He actually has a life and is rubbing it in our faces. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Lar Go actually, um, Lar is completely like he's been super busy with work, and we haven't we haven't been able to get in contact with Limit Break. Uh, we may or may not have another person join us later on in this podcast. We don't know. Uh, so yeah. we're just gonna. So have for now, us you're three. just stuck with the three of us. Yeah, just for now. But we could be introducing new people soon. We will have some talks. Uh, but we'll keep that as a surprise for later. Um, but let's go talk about this current season that's about to wrap up in about two about two weeks. I would say this is probably one of the best seasons we've had for anime in terms of the amount of diversity and amount of shows that were really popular. Uh, this season was ridiculously stacked. And for a good reason. Uh, what shows were you guys watching, and what shows did you guys pick up during the start of the season that you guys weren't thinking about picking up at all, or just shows that surprised you? Well, I think uh, what a sorry, what a crew, also known as uh, How to Love and Tokyo, really got under people's uh, radar, mainly because like it's like oh no, not another romance anime, but no, actually. What's different about this one is that the couples in this one are older, so they're like uh, twenty, like twenty-seven, twenty-eight years old, rather than you know the normal dumb teenagers that we get. Um, so yeah, Wanaku is actually, I what well, I think one of the best of uh, romance animes we've had in a quite a while. Actually, it's really funny too. So and the characters are really likable, which is a big plus. Yeah, I, I, I've heard good things about it. It's probably something I'm going to watch. I mean, it's only 11 episodes, but it is made by A1 Pictures, and they're a company I usually get behind. Um, a show that I've actually watched that I wasn't even that wasn't even on my radar uh, is Hinamatsuri, and I think that's a show all of us have at least watched. Um, yeah. I know, I, know, yeah. I know you two are actually more ahead of me. Um, I'm only on episode seven right now, so I'm a little bit behind. But <laughs> thoroughly, okay. I can I can I I can say from just from watching six episodes, so I highly recommend if you're looking for a slice of life comedy show. Absolutely. Um, mm-hmm. I, I, every time I watch it, I just have like this big stupid dumb grin on my face. It just it's fun. Everyone does. Yeah. Everyone gets a dumb grin on their face when they watch this show. Like, like, like all the, the characters are so good. The characters oh, yeah. are all good. It, like, I would never expect, like, really, I mean, like, a monotone girl, our main character, Hina, um, our heroine, just a very monotone girl, and, very and, aloof, and she's great. I love it. Yeah. And I'm oh, saying, huh. Anzu's best girl, Anzu's best girl, there's no, um, <laughs> there's no comparison, Anzu's best girl. She, she is great. I, I, I thoroughly enjoy her. They're all, like, it's a great, all the characters are great, just the amount of ridiculousness that is in the show... <laughs> it's thoroughly enjoyable. Like, if you're looking for a good time, I would recommend at least trying it out. It won't hurt. Um, yeah, but Hinamatsuri was definitely good. And the funny thing is, the one show that it was on my radar um, that I thought was going to actually become pretty big blew up. Megalobox. People love it. People love this show. And I've only seen the first two episodes. Um, I just never got around to watching it, the rest of it, because busy. But 
everyone mm. likes it because it's a. It, I would say it's a breath of nostalgia because of the the style that it's made in the animation style, and then the soundtrack is actually really good, especially if you like like hip hop beats. Very good um, so far from what I've heard, uh, and the concept is interesting. I mean, it's I would say it's basically the sports show of this season, I, unless you count. Um, Shokukeki no Soma, if you can really count that as a sports, I mean, it is like a uh, tournament kind of Probably anime. not. Yeah. But yeah, I guess I can see where you're coming like, from. Like, not like a traditional, not like sports, or like a, like um, basketball or soccer or, or volleyball. <laughs> but like, yeah, in terms yeah. of like a tournament, yeah, it, it, it would be in the same threshold because um, Megalobox and Shokukeki no Soma are a tournament based thing um, mm. where that's the plot point. And yeah, honestly, yeah. It, it's a good show. I, I would recommend it if you're looking for something. Even though I've only seen two episodes, I thought the style was great. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I'm glad that some of um, that the uh, the studio behind it, TMS uh, um, Entertainment, brought that back. And it was a breath of fresh air. Um, but what about you, Kawhi? Anything that stood out to you that was a surprise of the season or just something that you just weren't looking forward to? And just up here? Um... Uh, well, I don't, I'm not sure about any, like, anything that really surprised me this season. Um, I, but what, but I am, um, watching right now is, well, I wasn't really planning on watching this, but I've started right now and I've been enjoying it so far. Um, Sword Art Online Alternative, Gone, Gun Gal Online. Yes. I def, I definitely enjoy the first episode and I know a lot of people like it because there's you know, no Kirito, no Asuna. It's a completely different story with new characters, but kind of takes place still in the Sword Art universe. Um, but yeah, I, I've been thoroughly enjoying it so far. And uh, yeah, honestly, even if the rest of the show sucks, um, as a big, I'm actually a big gun nerd. Um, so I'll, even if the rest of the show sucks, I'll enjoy the, I'll still enjoy the various gun references. So that's why you like Girls Frontline. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which Girls I would recommend. Gun waifus, man, you can't go wrong with that. Yes, definitely. No, gun waifus are great. Your my waifu is better than your waifu. <laughs> <laughs> and no. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like honestly, like yeah, Sword Art Online Alternative. Um, the main reason why I was really looking forward to it before the season even began was that the fact that we didn't have our overpowered and uh, bitch getting Kirito. Um, I didn't like that. I didn't like that in the original series. I mean, yes, the action scenes in the original series were great, and this is follow suit. The studio behind it, I think it's actually a little bit different of a studio, not entirely for sure. In fact, I will look that up right now. I don't know if they actually did the original. Um, by the looks of it, no, but they did do um, Princess Principal. So <laughs> it's the same. Yeah, they did Princess Principal and Flip Flappers. So that's why I'm actually thoroughly liking the fight scenes because it well that explains a lot yeah yeah um which I, i'm still waiting for princess principal to come to the west eventually i know it's coming soon season, season two already confirmed uh, yeah well, well, it's, well the, i think it's, it's, well, like, well, a, it's I like, think like an ova it's, it's like an ova so it's like a movie yeah. and an ova well uh, all continuation already confirmed yeah which is i'm yeah. totally for yes um but what were shows that were disappointments do you guys have any that were disappointments we're like oh i'm really yeah. looking forward to it and i'm like uh, yes yeah, there is there is one that was actually well it wasn't i won't say it was a disappointment like i wouldn't say that but i think it was not really thought out properly enough and right. for some bizarre reason they've announced a second season to it for uh january and that is 3d kanjo real girl Oh, I've heard. I've not heard good things. Wait, about that, that got show. confirmed for a second season? Yes, that has recently been confirmed Ooh. for a second season. Really? In January. And I was like, interesting. Like, did the creators even realize that no one likes it? Like, I'm still reacting to it just out of spite at this stage. <laughs> and because. <laughs> and because of the fact that every cliffhanger has made me want more for some bizarre reason. So. Yeah, that's happened. But I mean, I'm looking at it. I'm, everything about this show, it's just drama, drama, and more drama. It's like, oh no! It's just like, guys, you you're concentrating too much on the drama. You forgot to actually do the comedy and do actual likable things with the characters. Like you, oh man, like 
I could. That's write. what I hate about about romance shows, man. Oh, well, some romance oh, shows. Oh, oh. oh like so if they have like just pointless amounts of drama. So is now, it is it pulling like what Citrus did? Because oh. I, I I heard Citrus was <laughs> abysmal. Absolutely. I'm going to say this right now. Citrus is better. Like, oh, you can, you can oh. oh my god! Citrus I've heard so much about Citrus. Because Citrus, you can act with Citrus, right? At least the characters are somewhat likable. Um, with this, no. It's like, all right, maybe the main, two, like on the on the cover of 3D Real Girl, the two main leads. Yeah, I'm the looking two, at like, them right now. Yeah. Honestly, I don't think I'll, even the characters in Citrus are that likable. Well, I mean, like, I, I've seen like only a couple of characters that I found like pretty enjoyable. Yeah. But yeah, I can I, see where you're coming from. I still need but, to. I still need to finish watching that. I, but then, but, I, then that's when I heard all the bad shit happening. I was like, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> no, no, because I I have to admit I haven't seen the last episode yet of 3D Real Girl, but in the last last episode I saw, which was episode 11, they. Out of the blue, just out of the fucking blue, they, in the last few seconds, like, you see the two main leads, they're walking along, having a good time, they were just had a nice date, and then suddenly you see this just gentleman, like, this guy just suddenly appear out of nowhere, and you go, okay, maybe it's the, like, ex-girlfriend, that sort of thing. This guy just immediately punches the main lead without, any, without like, saying anything, and then you, you find out, oh, that's her brother. Wow. And it's like, you just go, okay, second last episode of the, se- of the, like, of the show, last, like, three minutes of the episode, you bring in this new character, that's the brother, yeah, this is not going to go well. Like, you didn't think this through whatsoever. It makes like, it sound like it's banking on the fact that it's getting the second season, which it's getting! Which it got! And it's like, Ugh, why? Yeah, interesting. I mean, honestly, even the ratings are really low on this. 6.76. That's pretty low, even for my anime list. It's standard. <laughs> yeah. I've actually heard, though, that the manga is actually a lot better. I, so, I mean, yeah, that's usually the case and, in a lot of those. And if I if that's the case, I would say, go, I, even though I haven't read the manga, go read the manga, skip the anime. It's not mm. needed. Interesting, interesting. The one, okay, so I'm gonna have a bit. Oh, what about you, Kawaii? Before I do my tangents on a certain. I yeah. actually, or well, actually, now that I think about, it, yes, I do have a couple, a few anime that, that disappointed me. <laughs> oh, okay. One of them is uh, Sereto Sumibito Raw Wii U. Um, I actually <laughs> talked about this in the last podcast. Oh, I'm looking for it right. Uh, if you guys oh, remember, I'm looking I was at, yeah, kind I'm, of... yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I remember I, that. I, I, you guys remember that. I remember. I was, I was like, I, have, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I was like, something. I have a feeling this is just not going to work. Oh, my wow. gosh. It has a 5.87. Yeah, even lower. Oh, my God. Yeah, English name, Dances with, with the Dragons. I, I was pretty hyped for this at first, but then, like, after the first two episodes, I was just bored. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What was the score for that one? Which one? The one I'm talking about right now? 5.87. Yeah. Wow, that means Real Girl's beating it because yeah. Real Girl's six point seven six. That's bad. Yeah, I after the first two episodes, I was just bored. I, I want to like it. The action sequ- sequences seem kind of decent, but I just, I I just can't. I I I just can't go on. <laughs> I'm looking at some of the scores. Honestly, like the lowest I've seen so far is like a five point three two. There's just a few. Actually, there's oh, there's a five point one eight. Oh man. For what? Uh, it's freaking Omayo Omayo wa mo no. Omayo wa <laughs> it's a, it says Omayo wa mada gan wa wa shir, shiranai. I have I have no idea. It's a web manga, but it has a five point one eight score. Oh man. This oh, season? there's a four point seven nine. Wait, there's what? there's a four point seven nine. What's La- that for? Lady Spo? It's near the end. It has Wait, no last s- season? No, it's this current one. This season? Yeah, spring. 4.79, 12 episodes. It doesn't have any uh, information on the actual um, on the actual thing. It's already finished airing, actually. Today was the last episode. The uh, hell? Studio, none found. Licensors, <laughs> none found. Producers, none found. 
it's four minutes. What per, is four this? minutes Sorry. per episode. I I don't know. There's no synopsis. <laughs> so Weird. it's a mystery. It's a mystery, but for some reason, it has a four point eight seven, and only less than two thousand people were watching it. <laughs> Jesus. But but yeah. but yeah, the other thing that disappointed me was a uh, Tachibana Khan triangle. I, I, oh, yeah, that yeah. has a hor yeah. that has a horrible score. I'm looking at yeah, I was looking at that. That has <laughs> okay, a okay. Horrible... First of all, where do I even begin? Okay, first of all, it be longer, and then it be uh, longer. Yes, first of all, it needs to be longer. So it's like it's a it's an etchy Yuri <laughs> anime. Anybody, any man of culture would be attracted to that. Why do you think I was looking that. at Citrus and like I'm gonna watch this and then and I then just... I'll and then I I watched the first episode and I was like. Oh man, this is pretty good. And then I'll and then three minutes later, what? It's over already? Only three yeah. minutes. And, and, and yeah, what's it's worse? Only three it's minutes. by the same. It's by the same studio that made Netsuzo Trap and Citrus. It's like they can't. They don't. They don't know how to a fucking Yuri anime correctly. I did not know that. I did not know it was done yeah, by the same I'm, people. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh shit. Every one of their animes has less than a seven. Not a single one has a seven score rating. They do not know how to make a proper fucking Yuri they, anime. They, they also oh, it's Just also the, it's also the same um studio who did the um the wife who got drunk. Yeah, that's right. I was just gonna say that it's the same studio that do, did um love is like a cocktail. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, they have yeah. Oh man. Jesus, I've never seen just scores this low for an entire thing. Damn. Damn. Damn, son. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, I, I, yeah, I, I think I remember, was that a manga? Yeah, it is, because I remember yeah, seeing Yeah, it's a it, manga. Yeah, because I remember reading like the first chapter or so of it, and then I just never watched the rest of it. But, <laughs> speaking of manga and shows that, I did, that were disappointing to me, Oh Tokyo boy. Ghoul oh boy. Re. I Grab don't, the popcorn. I, I don't even. I, I know because I'm gonna get a lot of hate. I'm gonna get a lot of hate. I mean, especially like even my reactions. I got so much hate because I didn't read the manga, and I'm like, I should not have to read the manga to understand what's going on. For example, if you guys don't know, the first season of Tokyo Ghoul, I thought it was really good. A lot of people liked it. The ones who didn't like it were the manga because it wasn't a perfect adaptation, and I I don't really care. Um. Then the second season happened, and that's where it really split the community. I mean, honestly, I didn't care because I was an anime-only guy. And the second season, Route 8, split the fan base. I thought it was okay. I thought it could have done better. Um, but it completely divulged itself from the manga. So there was it went off its own, on its own course and did its own thing. So the manga went its one way, and then the anime did another. And then Tokyo Ghoul RE comes out. I remember reading the synopsis, like, this looks really cool. All right, we're not fa focusing on, on our main character anymore. Um, but it looks interesting enough, and I've always liked Tokyo Ghoul. I thought it was enjoyable, so I, I'll watch it. So I watched it, and I watched it, I watched it, and I had no <laughs> idea what the fuck was going on. Nothing made sense. Things were horribly explained, in my opinion. Turns out that this is like two two years later since um, since it happened. But the second season does not exist, technically. It's going based off the manga. So it's not going based off the anime. It's going based off the manga. So basically, really the only canon show was the first season. So basically, it's like, all right, forget second season happened. Then what the fuck happened in, all, all, in, in the all between? You have no idea what's going on. And they're like, oh, well, you should read the manga. In my opinion, no. That's a terrible that's, adaptation. That's then. not how you do it. That's not how yeah, you sorry. do it. Yeah, sorry. After... Like, I That's like say, buying that... a couch, and you had yep. to buy the cushion. You buy the couch, and you had to get your cushions from a third party seller from another place to finish it. it doesn't make sense. You skipped. You skipped a spot. You skipped a part. It's all supposed to be all in one, and it just it was just poorly done. I think what they should have done, they should have done a redo of second season. Be like, all right, so we fucked up. We're not. We're gonna. Delete season two. You guys can watch it if you want to, but this is going to be the real season two and they're going to follow it. Or just do something where they do a full recap and explain everything. They didn't do that. There was a couple OVAs in between that that would explain more stuff as it went on. But it just, it was just really 
poorly done in my opinion. An anime adaptation is supposed to be an adaptation. You're not supposed to know the original content to uh, understand the uh, adaptation because you're adapting something. You should never have to go back to figure out what's going on in my and I I think that's how it is. So the studio did it horribly and I've even heard from people who are even manga readers that the show is way too rushed. And considering mm. we're only getting 12 episodes and the continuation, the second season of the season is coming out in, I believe, fall of 2018. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I dropped it for good reason, and I heard a lot of people dropped it. Even the manga readers dropped it as well. But, mm. yeah, that was my little rant on it. Uh, I think they should have done it a lot better. I think, honestly, if they were to come back and redo second season if they to how they wanted to do it, by all means, go ahead. I'm perfectly fine with doing that because I don't like going into a show and not knowing anything that's going on. But that was my opinion on Tokyo Ghoul RE. Um, I know a lot of people like it. I also know a lot of people don't like it. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was not a, not a fun experience for me. But... Speaking of bad, not not well. Considering we talked all about bad shows, what were your favorite shows of the season? Shokugeki no Soma. Shokugeki no Soma. I heard uh, I heard great things about it. Well, because in fact, you only read the manga, right? You don't watch the show. No, yeah, I, uh, I've never. I've only seen the first episode, and um, I wanted to watch it with my roommates, but my roommates are all dub only because they don't like reading. <laughs> and um, but yeah, I'm I'm a, I think. The anime has caught up to where the manga is, where I left off. So, um, I'm, I'm going to be watching that. I'm going to be reading that and uh, figuring out where I left off. But, yeah, the manga was great. And I heard it's a pretty good adaptation of the manga so far. So, I, I can there, say. I, I can say it's probably well, great. There, I, have to, I have heard that uh, with the last episode, maybe. Crew, have you um, watched the last episode yet? Of Sugeki? Uh, Shokugeki season. Yes, I have. Um, I heard reports that some people are not happy because it's left on another cliffhanger. Well, I mean, it didn't leave off on a cliffhanger, but uh, I, it's, I it's left like it's left in the middle of the um, well, the Sugeki, Really, it's yeah, left. Yeah, off. yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, yeah. Who's, hold on, I, I want to make sure where you guys are at. What? Who was fighting in the Shogugeki? Or this, yeah. Uh, well, from where I saw it up to, again, I'm again I'm two weeks behind. Uh, it's the uh, Somers versus the glasses girl from the late ten. Um, I can't yeah, remember her a, name. Sorry. It's a group. It's a group Shokugeki. So yes. it's gonna be. It's three versus three. Oh shoot! I think you guys are. I think you're ahead of me then. Yeah. Cause uh, okay, what 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 was the Indian dude's name? Uh, Hayama. Hayama. It was Hayama became a elite ten member. Oh, that yeah, they've gone way past that. Yeah. Yeah, and then it was, yeah, he... and then it was him versus um, um, our Soma. main character. Yeah. Soma. It was him yeah. versus, and then like that's where I kind of left off. Yeah, okay. that's yeah, that's that's gone. That's we've done that already. Okay. Yeah, so, that yeah was, you guys that are was like... me. Okay. All right. Cool. That's where I left off in the manga. That's how, and because I, I remember I was reading it, and then I caught up to it, and then the site that I was reading on, it got licensed, so I couldn't read it, so I went on to another website that got licensed, and it's been licensed ever since, and it's super hard to find it now. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it, I mean, honestly, I could just find it eventually, but like all the sites that I were, I was always using for like all my catalog of manga that I read, all of it got taken down because it was licensed. But yeah, I, I need to eventually read it because I, I was freaking plowing through that manga it was great and i'm sure the uh, the anime is doing a banger job too but... yeah oh yeah so let's move on pardon me so do you like mo girls if you do i've got a sh the show perfect for you it's called comic, comic girls i've heard okay all right all right you need to enlighten me because i see a lot of things posted about it what's it about and yeah, well, what's, it, it, what's it about, and like, why is it such so appealing? Is it because of the moe aspect? It's about it's, it's okay. Pretty much, it's about like um, I, don't know, I just have to do my math here. Um, about five girls, they all draw manga, and pretty much our main protagonist, pink haired girl, um, she she's trying to get uh, you know um, she's got she's got her own editor, but 
she's just not getting anywhere. Like, she hands in scripts. Well, I assume that's what they're called. And they just keep getting rejected. So it's we follow her as we as she learns to get better at drawing manga. And along the way, we get like we meet like this girl who gets who one there's one girl who draws manga that ha, that does not really suit her taste because she has to draw like big breasted girl manga sort of thing. And it's the best kind. Best kind. <laughs> then there's blue haired girl. Sorry, I, I you know what? I'm skip the name. It's a bit easier. Um, Sabasa. <laughs> uh, that's the blue haired girl. She she's great as well. Like all the like, there is no best girl in this show because all of them are best girl. Like there is, it's just one of those shows in which you just have to watch and just you'll love every minute of it, pretty much. Mm. I know that like there there are two characters, the two like there are two main characters that look like uh, younger versions of Yuri and Natsuki from DDLC. Yes, that's the other thing. That there's two characters <laughs> in it that look like the younger versions of them. Oh god! And it's great. It's great. Younger than Natsuki already looks pretty damn young already, man. Yeah. Well, this makes them look even younger. Even younger. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> uh, because everyone knows that Natsuki was best girl. <laughs> Except for, like, sorry, 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 sorry. Let me repeat. Let me rephrase that. Cultured people know that Natsuki is best girl. And that Yuri is horrible. Uh, don't go jump off a cliff, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, she's gonna get her own game, so you can you can f- like freaking. Oh yeah, it's like, getting... a, it's like a it's like a it's like a fan made mod or something like that. Well, well apparently it's gonna be ba- like there is gonna be a new game sequel, but it's gonna be taking place where Yuri is the antagonist and like. It, oh, are you talking about like Project Libertina? Yes. Oh, that's not that's 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 not even confirmed. It's not even confirmed, but Dan Salvado, Salvado, he was like, I can neither confirm nor deny these claims. So I was like, huh, huh, that seems like a little uh, beating around the bush there, Dan. Who I mean, knows? game theory, I, I mean, it, it shouldn't be presented. He shouldn't be presented as fact. Yeah, we'll I... see We'll see what happens because Dan Salvato did say that he wants to make a new game. And if it is, that it's going to be awesome. That's going to be pretty damn awesome, not going to lie. Mm-hmm. But yeah. And then there's, of course, another right. character, another character in Comic Girls called Fura Su- uh, Suzu. She is the ho- horror artist, and she lives up to her horror. name. She lives up to her name so well. Like it, all the other girls are scared and terrified of her. Every time she's on screen, I, it gets a laugh out of me. Like she's just great. Like I cannot recommend this show highly enough. If you like, I said, if you like Moe, go straight ahead into Comic Girls. You'll get a blast out of it. Yeah, it looks mm. it looks interesting. Not gonna lie, um, it's probably something I need to definitely. I'll probably just check out. I mean, it has actually a pretty good rating, seven point five eight. <laughs> that's pretty. Yeah. That's pretty good. I mean, oh yeah. Although the still the highest one is still Steins Gate Zero, which has a nine point one two. Jesus. Christ. Oh yeah. Steins Gate. Yeah, I Steins knew Gate Zero is great. I am currently reacting to Steins Gate, so the original. Oh, you so, are? Yep. Oh, so what, that, what, what episode are you on? Uh, I can double check. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I, I guess uh, while Alva does that, I'll talk about my favorites. Um, so since I'm, well, I mean, I still, I'm still planning on doing a top five of spring 2018. So I'm gonna like list my top threes in no particular order. Okay. Shoku Shoku Geki season three. Um, it's not in my opinion not as good as season two, but it's still thoroughly enjoyable. Um, Steins Gate Zero, absolutely amazing. If you love Steins Gate season one, you're definitely gonna love Steins Gate Zero. Um, I there are there have been like some times where, like I go I watched the episode and it didn't feel like 23 minutes at all. It was just that it was just amazing, that that good. I think I and can say. Oh, go ahead. What was your other one? The and the third one. Um, I. 
I think the third one so far would probably have to be Maho Shoujo Sight. I know a lot of people are put off by it because <laughs> it, looks, it looks like it looks edgy and um, a Madoka ripoff. But as I as as I keep watching it, it's it was actually really entertaining. Like it was, I thought it was gonna be like some sort of battle royale, but it was it actually wasn't. It's kind of like, I guess it's kind of like a good versus evil type of thing. And um, favorite parts of uh, first of all, it's the the two main characters are gay as fuck. They're gay as fuck for each other. <laughs> like uh, like seriously, if if you love the the Yuri like that the heavy. Yuri implications and Princess Principle. Oh my God, you're gonna have a field day with this show. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, like they, I'm still waiting for um more, before uh that second yeah. season or continuation to come like out. Like there, are, there are literally a couple of scenes where they hold, they sleep together and hold hands. The two main, the two main female characters. Oh Jesus, I can feel the diabetes coming from that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then so another thing I really like about the show. Um, one of my favorite VAs, Nobuhiko <laughs> Komodo, which for those who don't know, he voiced Accelerator from Index, Karma from Assassination Classroom, Ryo from Shokugeki, um, that one fat kid from Sangatsu no Lion. Mm. Oh, and Bakugo from My Hero. Um, yeah, oh, he's really? As, yeah, he's in this as well, and he gives off a badass, uh, an absolutely amazing performance as um, the main fe female character's psychotic older brother. He just goes all out with with his craziness, and it's absolutely fun to watch. I mean, like, yeah, if if it's anything like Bakugo's, it's yeah, then he's gonna be good. <laughs> yeah, I mean he, I mean yeah, he's an asshole, but god damn it, does he? If I, I'll be damned if he doesn't give like if he doesn't do a damn fine good job at being like a psychotic asshole. Nice. I mean, I think my top three would um. Is because speaking of it, uh, My Hero Academia, um, I would say Sword Art Online Alternative, and I think honestly, since it pushed it out of its spot, originally it was supposed to be Persona 3 or Persona 5, I think Hinamatsuri, even though I'm not finished with it, I'd say it's up there on my top three. Hinamatsuri is great, yeah, I have to agree with that. And it's episode three of Steins Gate, I recently watched, so I'm up to episode four, yeah. Another show that I heard was actually really good was Uma, Masumu, uh, Uma Masumi. Oh, yeah. I, I, it, because it's that, Horse Girls. Yeah, the Horse Girl one. I heard that's good as well. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see that one. It just, yeah, I didn't, like, just I didn't get a chance seeing, to watch like, it. Just from seeing like, GIFs and stuff or GIFs and stuff and all that stuff, um, it just looks like it's going to be a, like a, it's a cute show. Yeah, I wouldn't mind watching that, actually. Maybe in my own time. Oh yeah, it is. A, that's right. I, I totally forgot. Yeah, that that would be our sports show of the season because it is a sports show because it's all about competing in horse races with girls that are horses. Yeah. That are and horses. And attractive. And, re and remember, guys, don't loot the horse girls or else the creators will be mad. Yeah, that's that that thing <laughs> happened, didn't it? Ha! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> and it's not like it's not like in Monster Musume where a, a Okayado. He was a lewd artist in the first place before he started. <laughs> he drew hentai and then he made Monster Musume. Mm -hmm. What did you expect was going to happen? Yeah, you I made know, a show that... about cute girls and then you expect your, your fans not to lose them. You got them. cute right. girls and animals, you put them together. Either one, it's going to look like Full Metal Alchemist or it's going to... Oh my... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. I had to. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I mean, like I said, it's either going to look like that and you would never lose that. I mean, if you do, you are a uh, horrible boy. piece of shit, human being. Or you're going to get something like Monsa Musume <laughs> where it's already loot as fuck and they're just going to take it to the next step. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I swear to baby Jesus, if someone actually looted, looted that, I, uh, FBI should be knocking on their door and not even telling them to put up their hand to shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> next video, next video Rama's going to do, John Tron watches Uma Musume. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know what happened. My, 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 my last one, the, the one that I did, my final one, the, the one I took so much time and, to make, it finally started getting popular. Like, it has, like, 50,000 views now. I don't know why. 50,000? I think so. It was, like, oh, it was, shit. 
I know. I was like, it just randomly blew up recently, like the last few days. I'm just like. My guess is some some pop some uh social media icon probably more popular than you is sharing it so or something. It's it's apparently yeah it has fifty two thousand right now. Apparently it was in the bunch of people's recommended boxes. Oh, well, that, that that's also a re good reason. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a big reason. But yeah, speaking of Iramanga Sensei, did you know that we're supposed to be getting the Iramanga Sensei OVA soon? Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's we all I, I think we all need to watch it just to say we've done it. <laughs> wait, have, I mean, wait, we've we've you guys have all seen Iramanga Sensei, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, because I, I, I we're. Were you re you weren't reacting really yet? I that was how I got my start kind of that in Red Knight Boken. Um, I remember Kawhi was already reacting for a while. I don't know. Did, were you doing reactions to um your No, Sensei? I wasn't. Okay, no, you I watched wasn't. it on your own time. I actually never watched it. What? That shows what? a masterpiece. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen Aramonga Sensei. Actually, no. I think I've watched the first season and never. I don't, I'm not the first season. The first episode and then never watch, never continue it. It's the sequel to a Rainbow. Come on. It's not really the sequel, but it, it's, know, in it's, the same, really... it's in the same. It's in the same. It's, it's canon. In the same, it's it's in the same it's universe. The same universe. Same exact universe. Because you see them. You see those characters. I'm like. Yeah. <gasps> I know about the after credits. Where's Girl Kirino is there? What did you just say? Oh yeah, Crino. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, Crino is definitely West Girl. Sorry, I thought you said um, um, Cat Girl was. Oh no 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 no! I was like, I was gonna have to kill you for that. No no no! She yeah, she's best girl. Although the one I liked that a lot of that wasn't really part of the harem was the um the girl with the glasses. We don't say her name. She does not exist. As far as law is concerned. Why? That, what, what, she, does he hate her? Yes. Why? Well, actually... Does she, it's because she got big boobs, isn't it? That's the only reason. No, no. no. There's actually another reason for that. It's actually pretty much the whole situation is all thanks to her, really. Um, She pretty much orchestrated everything. Is that... Yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but there is actually... um. Like uh, an article online somewhere that Top uh, 10 anime plot twists that uh, last year and it actually states of why all the reasons why she pretty much orchestrated the entire thing. Interesting, mm -hmm. very interesting. And even my opinion of uh, Glasses Girl, I can't remember her name, um, it has dwindled like I. It, that, like, I'm going to talk about Arima for a bit, but seeing that punch-up near the end was amazing. And just to see her get totally thrashed by Worst Girl was even more worth it, because pretty much compared to, like, Krino's better than, than Glasses Girl. Uh, that's all I have to say. Yeah, I never actually the finished the show, so I don't really know much about... I just knew that she was an interesting character. That's all I knew. So I never got to finish it. But, I mean, I, I found out what happened, how he actually went down that route. Mm -hmm. so. Mind you, I, have, I also have to say that the um, for season two of Arima, the last, the OVAs, never happens in my book. <laughs> that never happened. No. Nah. It stopped at the end of second season. <laughs> there is nothing else after that. I know a lot of people are, like, really fans of ISA as well. Now, another show I can talk about that I reacted to and still need to finish is uh, Cutie Honey Universe. Oh, how did you like that? It got dark very, very quickly. Oh, really? Oh, uh, like, I even went and watched um, the original 70s version and then the 90s re uh, sequel to the 70s version. Um... I actually prefer the 90s version over the modern day version. Pardon me. Um, but, damn, yeah. I have to say, yeah, this thing really got dark. And How so? Um, 
Do you want me to go through spoilers a bit? I mean, I'm probably not going to watch it. Yeah, I'm probably not going to watch it. Okay. Um, pretty much, it's like, it's a versus thing. So, like, pretty much Cutie Honey, well, Kis Kisagi Honey, that's her name. Yeah. Uh, she works for the police department. And there's this group called um, Panther Claw, who are, like, the main villains. Yeah. Anyway, it's used... At the start, it's the usual thing of, um, you know, th them versing each other, that sort of thing. But then it does a 180, and Panther Claw attacks Honey's school, kills everyone, and now, and then, like, her best friend uh, survives, and her fr best friend is called uh, Nat. And then in the latest episode I watched, which was... Episode 10, um, Kitty, uh, sorry, Nat was killed as well by uh, Panther Claw. Um, and when I say she was killed, she was impaled in a, with a sword. Ooh. Jesus. Like, like straight through. Like, and like right in front of Honey, too. Like, you see, like, you don't, like, you don't, of course, don't really see it, but like, you see the silhouette of the uh. sword going straight through. And then you see the blood splatter. It's like, Fuck! Damn, like, son. This went like completely dark. But a bit more spoiler is that Nat, her best friend, actually dies in every version, like even in the manga. So that's okay. But it's the um, the whole thing with the the school getting killed off as well. That rarely happens. So pretty much, Honey has no one left besides the police force now, and she is pissed off obviously I know, like she's yeah. but yeah if if you want to check this out i would actually recommend i know it sounds crazy to say this but check out the original 70s version because that's better than this in my opinion oh by the way Roman, you might want to put a spoiler tag like a spoiler warning like once you ended this podcast yeah 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 <laughs> But I'm still going to need to react to the last two episodes anyway to see what happens. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. I could, I, yeah, definitely. Definitely. It, it sounds interesting, though. It sounds, yeah, it definitely does sound dark. Yeah. But, yeah. And it, it really comes out of nowhere, too. Like, as I said, it really does come out of nowhere. Hmm. Well, as long as it does it to progress the plot, that's all I care <laughs> about. And not yeah. just happen just for the sake of happening. So we talk about a continuing, like, continuing shows from last season that we're still watching. Dart and Alien and the Franks for you guys. Dart and the Franks. 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 Yeah. Uh, Franks. You guys can honestly have a go at that. I am far behind, but I get spoiled every day on Twitter, so it don't matter to me. <laughs> oh man, that's yeah, that's that's the that's the bad part about dying in the Bronx. Yeah, mm -hmm. like I'm like... two, I'm two episodes behind, and I'm already spoiled too. So it's like you have a life, and then you got stuff to do. But then, like everyone, almost everyone you follow on Twitter, no, they watch it before you do, because yeah, they get up early in the morning. Well, and also the fact that I live in a different time zone to you, so yeah, you guys see yeah, it like that hours too. before. And I... that too. Yeah. So. Yeah, I agree. I mean, the same thing with the freaking My Hero Academia. I wake because it appears at five o'clock in our, my time in the morning. I wake up at like six, seven. By that time, everyone's already watched it, so everyone's like, "Man, do you see that episode where he did this to that guy and that guy died?" I'm like, <laughs> "I fucking hate you." <laughs> <laughs> That's why basically I wake up. Like, eat breakfast really quickly, and then just sit and watch. And then I can go on you uh, on the rest of the internet. Otherwise, I'm going to be spoiled to everything. But yeah, I, I can see how that's uh, a bit... Alright, so... <coughs> there's a theory going around, and I want to know... I want to hear your guys' opinions. Is Zero Two going to die? Well, I mean, I... it's been... It's kind of... It's kind of been teased. Like, there's... Like, uh, like, there's, like, death flags up the ass. So, like... I mean, it's not. It's probably not going to end um, on a on a happy note. But yeah, I think there's like a you know I think there is like a strong possibility that she will. Uh, I, honest, 
I honestly thought it had already happened with episode 21. Um, that's like the, the, the thing, the, the message I sort of like received from fans, from people who watched it that, Oh, stuff ain't happened. Like I don't, as again, I haven't seen the latest two episodes, but I heard like, Oh, something happens it's on episode. Uh, I think, I think their most recent, recent one was 22. Yeah. So at, the, at the end of 21, something happens to zero two. And I, and like, it was up in the air of what happened. So I was thinking, Oh, maybe they've actually killed her off. Um, in that episode, but no, it seems like she's survived, but it looks like she may be, what, brain dead at the moment? Or like, you know... Yeah, it's, it's close space. to that. I'm, well, I mean, since you already got spoiled a lot um, yeah. on the sounds of it, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say too much about yeah, don't what say happened, too much, but, but yeah, but... But yeah, yeah. Um, episode 22, <laughs> um, she's technically not dead. Uh, that's yeah. that's that's the main thing. Yeah. And I also noticed that something's going on with uh, Kokoro as well, uh, but that's oh kind of yeah, <laughs> that's that's kind of obvious of what's going on with her, uh, considering the fact that the stupid idiots that mind wiped her didn't think, oh wait, they at Maybe we should get rid of that. <laughs> There's something yeah. very important inside her. <laughs> yeah, or maybe they should have just gone, oh, maybe we shouldn't have removed her memory because that's a bit of an issue now. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, that they that's basically what, the condi- what they conditioned the children to do. Like, they 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 only think about what the, what, you know, Papa wants them to think. They only do what Papa wants them to do. And if they... I mean, what they what Mitsu and Kokoro did that's that's that goes against what um, Papa's objective. So they had yeah. to erase. I can understand that why they erased her memories, but it's still fucked up. Yeah, so isn't Papa now officially dead as well? Because that's yeah, the... yeah, they they they. I think they done they done because of what I saw at the end of uh, episode twenty is that a new race that was all like that had already been there for centuries have has suddenly reappeared which is maybe the another type of a uh, clock saw i think that's how you say it um has a beard Klaxosaur. <laughs> Klaxosaur. Yeah. Klaxosaur. and has gone yeah we own this planet we've got and um, suddenly space and suddenly another evading species so and the humans are going what the fuck is going on <laughs> yeah so, yeah I know the whole like the whole aliens thing. That was that was, that was very like the the anime community. <laughs> they had mixed opinions about that. Um, I honestly thought it was pretty. I honestly thought it was pretty cool. I kind of enjoyed it because it kind of goes for like twenty episodes. What? Oh God, do I do I do I want to do I want to say this? Like I don't want to say too much since I think Rami, are you you're, are you still watching Darling in the Bronx? No, not really. Oh, okay. Well. Main reason why the main reason why is because like I, like I said, I, I, why watch it when I can be spoiled to it every day? <laughs> okay, so you really don't care. Um, no, I'll watch it on my own time. All right. Well, well, spoiler alert. I thought, I thought I kind of liked the twist because, like, for twenty episodes, we were led to believe that oh, the Kalaxosaurs were the were the bad guys. But yeah, no, it turns exactly. Out that, turns out no, they were no, they were they're they're actually they're actually the good guys. Yeah, they're the good guys. This humanity is the ba- humanity is the bad guys, and this new alien race is also the bad guys. So, right. well, humanity is trying to prevent them from doing the greater good. This makes <laughs> yeah. it seem like this. This is really um, reminiscent of um, Gurren Lagann in a sense. Then, well, that's the thing. Like, I mean, it's not the same team, isn't it? Trigger. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> whatever yeah because it was the same way where like um the uh the original first bad guys were actually doing what they were doing for the greater good and humanity was pushed down to keep um from th- from the real villains and also the fact that this thing is also heavily inspired by uh kill a kill and uh evangelion so basically yes. triggers other works yeah is, well, is, wait no, no i think um 
Gynax. 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 Yeah, Gynax. Yeah, Gynax. Oh, yeah. Oh, Gynax. Uh, Evangelion, but yeah. It's well, definitely isn't Studio Evangelion. Trigger like a like a spinoff of Gynax? I think so. Or like, I think yeah, so. that would make that would make sense. Hold on, let me look this up really quickly. You guys could talk while I. So yeah, I'm very curious to see what happens next. Even though. Yep. Like, it's it's by got... it's by a former uh, it's former Gynax employee. So it's basically they split up and formed it. Yeah. Yeah. So that yeah, they're allowed to um. Uh, reference Evangelion then, mm -hmm. <laughs> which they do constantly. <laughs> yeah, I forgot yeah. they also did Gunbuster. Damn, they've been in the mecha business for a long time. I mean, that's how you know it's a trigger show, man. They gotta reference other mecha that yeah. they did. Definitely, definitely. Oh yeah, Darling in the Flungs. It's <laughs> it's getting it's getting fucking intense so far, like well, we right have, now. Well, we have two episodes left, so. Oh yeah, it's. Oh man, I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm ready. Like the yeah. like the signs the signs are there, but ah. Uh... Yeah, if I'm going to be shocked, I think most of my most of the anime community is going to be shocked if no one actually ends up dying. Like if out of the whole main, no, out of the uh, out of the thirteen, or if there's anything reminiscent of a happy ending. Yeah, exactly. Like I think. Th Pretty much the only ones I can think of that again will get a happy ending is um well, it's gonna be the Kokoro and um Mitsuru. They're the only ones that I can think of that will get a happy ending because they can't exactly kill them off now because well, pregnant. <laughs> and like Well it's they... possible they regain their memories like at some point at the like at the very last second and then boom, they kick the bucket. Yeah, that's a possibility too, but still. Honestly, but, if, it, if it does have a happy ending, like it's gonna be a big slap in the face to every single people, every single person that watched this series. Like yeah, I, that, I can see that. That just wouldn't be right. Yeah, I think at least some, one person has to die, at the very least, or two because they're partners. So. One goes, the, the partner has to go as well. So if Zero Two mm. dies, then Hero has to go, for example. Yeah. Or, or if Ichigo dies, then who, her partner needs to go. It's that, well, Goro needs to go. That sort of thing. Go, bro! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think we've talked about enough about Darling anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is there anything you guys are looking forward to for summer 2018? Oh, Sama. Yes. We, so far, I've got two shows. And that's... um. I'll see if I can get the English title for this. How Not to Summon a Demon Lord. Oh, I, oh, I, I know what you're talking about. Oh, that. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. And um, you guys so know Yuna-san. What's the other one? one? that... The one that you're looking forward to, Robert. Yeah, that's the... Oh, oh, you're okay, so no Unison. The Hot Spring one. Yes. Yeah, the Hot yes. Spring one. You're, yes. Yeah, you're okay, so you know Unison. Yeah, I'm, re I'm actually going to be reacting to that one. Yeah, that's a guarantee. Because I'm going to see who the best girl is, because I already know who best girl is. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have a lot of discussions about this, Kawhi. I need you to watch it so we can fight and talk about who's best girl. All right. Well, just so you know, my, my opinions are probably going to be better, so... No. <laughs> no. Oh no, no, <laughs> no! <laughs> I mean, honestly, I know who you're gonna pick. I already know who you're gonna pick. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure you know me that well? You like Cinderace and girls with long black hair. I have a fucking feeling who it is. I well, I mean, it's a, <laughs> I mean, I don't like it. De it depends on on how Cinderay they are. Like Fuck you know. You, Cinderay. Well, I mean, are, are they like I'm, violence in their way, or I'm not, they... uh, it's I'm not throwing this ninja star <laughs> into your forehead and trying to kill you because yeah, I like you, but ba babaka. And... I, I'm getting uh, <laughs> flashbacks to. It's not really uh, like that. It's not really like that, but I'll... <laughs> no, but yeah, she there's like she, there's a full on Cinderay in there, and I I'm think getting flashbacks like to love spirit. <laughs> to what? Love Tyrus. I'm getting oh, flashbacks no, 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 to no, no, love no, 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 that's Yandere. No, no, <laughs> no, that's Yandere. Although there is no, there's no Yandere. There's a Kudere, who's my favorite. Um, there's a Yan. No, there's a Sundere. There's a Dandere. Yeah, there's a bunch of Dere's in there. 
Although, I'll know, oh, we'll I'll, see. We'll I, see. I know a lot of people are going to pick a certain character, and I can see why, because she was my favorite at first, and then uh, Best Girl came in. And I'm like, no. Make babies. Uh, you're done. <laughs> you're done, son. <laughs> Everything else and, is a joke. And there's one other that I'm looking at that I'm looking forward to, actually, and that's uh, Yasin Chan Dropkick. Oh, yeah, that. I, I Like, it's a violent slapstick, uh, according to the synopsis. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if that's the case, then oh my god, I really hope I have a, a ton of fun with this show. I want you guys to read this synopsis <laughs> and tell me if it is the weirdest, dumbest shit you've ever heard or pure genius. Go uh, look up. Go look up Backstreet Girls. Oh, I know what you're <laughs> I talking heard about. Of that. I know oh exactly my god. what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh I know what it's about. Oh my yeah. god. Alright, so I'm going to go read the synopsis really briefly. Actually, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to do a quick... You do yeah. that. A group of three Yakuza failed their boss for the last time. After messing up an important job, the boy, boss the boss gave them two choices. The boss. Honorably, the boss. The boss honorably commit suicide or go to Thailand to get a sex reassignment surgery in yeah. order to become <laughs> female <laughs> idols. After a gruesome year training to become idols, they successfully debut with over overwhelming popularity, much to their dismay. This is where the truth tragedy truly begins what the <laughs> fuck is going on <laughs> why do we even need that why does that like, exist how does that even come into your mind and you're like yeah you know what let's fucking do this i am so just at a standstill at a loss for words that I'm actually probably going to go watch it just to see what it is. Hey, man, a lot of people in Japan like gender bending. Yeah, n no. <laughs> no. Well, come on. Look, I mean, how do you think fake Grand Order got so successful? Yeah, exactly. That's, exactly. Not, that's, that's, not, that's not freaking gender bending. That's the yes, it is. gender bend characters. Oh, yeah, yeah, I take that back. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. No, no, I, I meant like where they actually change sex. Oh, okay, this one yeah. they actually they were I have a penis. Never mind Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> like an actual God. change in things. Yeah, I mean I was like fake grand order, I don't think remember. Yeah, but yeah, they gender bend the characters, but I mean they show like they were always the opposite gender. They were just shown portrayed as men for some reason. No, these guys no, these guys were we're men, we're the, the Yakuza, we're gangsters. Now we're pretty young girls. <laughs> wink wink. I'm just We're like, idols now. We're idols. Now let's battle. <laughs> I, just, I, I am at a I, I I'm I'm at a loss. I need to watch it. I just need to watch it just to watch it and make a video on it because I feel like this needs a video. Like I don't I why? Why? I mean I thought Joshin Chan was some fucking stupid shit and then I read that and I'm like never mind Joshin Chan where it's like I'll raise you one better, why not? I know it's like I heard you like weird shit. I and fully coolly, some weird shit. But have you seen Backstreet Girls Goku dolls now? <laughs> I think it now has taken the spot as what the fuck did I just watch? Oh man, I I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> maybe some people were wrong. Maybe some people want it that way. I mean, yeah, I mean, God, that's fine. Burger King is having your way, but <laughs> they in my case, want <laughs> it that way. Tell me why. I hate myself. <laughs> and video is immediately blocked. <laughs> I know, right? I'm pretty <laughs> sure the moment we started talking about Backstreet Girls, the video was like, nope, nope, nope. We're taking them off. Nope. <laughs> Oh my we God. said Backstreet Girls, not Backstreet Boys. <laughs> oh uh oh, they were singing the Backstreet Boys. Uh, copyright strike them. <laughs> what? Oh, Demonetize. Demonetize. Ban. I'm already at two strikes. I don't need another. <laughs> Ooh. Have you? Have you got strikes at the moment? Yes, I got two strikes, and I they've been under review for three months. Oh. oh. God. Yeah. I, I, mine have have just recently gone off, so I don't have any strikes anymore. Yeah, it's no, it took, it, it took three months. Yeah, it's more than three months actually. Which makes no sense because it's like, oh, they'll get back to you in six to ten business days. Fuck me, bullshit. <laughs> I have no idea what YouTube's doing anymore. You, YouTube's run by monkeys, I swear. 
Bruh, YouTube has been down the shitter, like, for a long time. Yeah, and it's just getting worse and worse. I, I, like I said, I've been under review for the freaking monetization for, like, four months now. Back in, um, back in March is when I submitted it, and it's still under review. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I have everything ready. I don't know. But, yeah, spring is looking, uh, summer is looking good. Um, honestly, I don't think it's not, not even close to stacked to spring, but. Yeah, but I think there are some shows to look forward to. I um, mean, the Shoku like no Kyojin. I meant yeah, Shigeki no Kyojin. I meant to say, and, I, I got that mixed up. And uh, a couple of shows I'm hyped for. Um, one of it, yeah, one of them, without a <laughs> happy <laughs> sugar life. Uh, um, hold on, I'm looking for you guys know up. about that? No, I'm looking. Oh, here it is. Oh, yeah, I see it. Well, well. Well, to so, to, well, brief summary, uh, Yandere, uh, main character, and Yuri. I'm in! Okay! I'm, I'm in! in. Yes! <laughs> best game, best show, best show, 10 out of 10. It better, it better not be fucking three minutes slow. <laughs> I, oh, uh, well, I, god damn, I really hope that. It's not by, it's not by the same, it's not by creators and packs, so, well, I mean, as far as I know, so, I mean, I, it, it, I hope, I, it, it looks good so well, far. Let's see. Producers, yeah. not found. Licenses, oh. not found. Studios, not found. Yeah, oh. yeah. Great. Well, but, but, but I'm still looking forward to it. And the other one, uh, Overlord Season 3, definitely. Um, oh, yeah. And my guilty pleasure that I am not a, a myth, afraid to admit uh, is my guilty pleasure. <laughs> one Room Season 2. Uh. I yeah I I know I, I know what the, I, the, no, the, I, the, I just the, know about the uh, whole like the back room about it. Yeah, because you made a meme of it. Yes. You made a meme of that show. I I didn't even know it was a meme of it. I'm like, what is everyone talking about? I'm like, oh, it's one room. And then I'm like, oh yeah. Still to this day, I get questions like, hey hey, what's the uh, what's the name of the anime? I'm like, you're a sick fuck. <laughs> 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 okay. Never heard of one room. Uh, I, well, I mean, uh, it's like, it's a show where I think it's like what seven, three minutes long. Um, four minutes. It's basically, it's basically where you're like a self-insert protagonist, and then like it's from your point of, it's like a first-person point of view, <laughs> and the girls okay. are talking to you, and so yeah, yeah, it's it's that it's that kind of show. Okay. There's a, honestly like as much as like. It's. I don't think it's gonna be stacked in terms of summer. Uh, that for summer, I think there's gonna be a lot of um, interesting shows. Like, yeah, there are a lot of shows. <laughs> like Chio Chan no Sugakuro. That looks interesting. That looks. That looks hilarious. Yeah, it's. This is a story of a nerdy bookworm girl on her way to school, and yes, that's the entire premise. As she's not getting to school anytime soon, taking her usual route to school, it becomes an increasingly unusual adventure, and all the more ridiculous as it carries on. It takes an unpleasant sentiment many can empathize with, and the feeling of tardiness, and brings humor to it, making it a hilarious situation to look upon. It just sounds funny! So Basically, it sounds like um, <laughs> summer 2018's Pop Team Epic. Uh, mm, I think Pop Team Epic is on such a different level. I don't know how I could... Yeah, yeah Pop Team I, Epic but, is on but, such a level. It does, like, it does seem like it has a lot of random... Um, I think it would have like, like slapstick random humor. Ship, yeah, random humor. Random slapstick humor, but it's not going to be like all over the place where Pop Team Epic was. Speaking of Pop Team Epic, it's going to be the second season eventually. Wait, really? Yes. Yes. It's got greenlit. Oh shit, nigga! <laughs> I just want to say that I won't be watching it. Yeah, yeah, because you didn't like the first season. I, I personally really enjoyed the first. season. I can see why people don't like it. It's, it, it's, it's comedy, and it's very like you need to like it. You need to like that kind of comedy to like it. Yeah, so, and it's not, it's not for everyone. Yeah, I can, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like it was I, like I need to watch it again. I need to rewatch it, but I, yeah, we'll see. Um, another show that looks interesting is Island, just called Island. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it's, of that one. It, because it's, it's based, based on a visual, visual novel, novel, and that's why I'm and like, it's by the same studio that made the Grisaya series, which yeah. I absolutely love. Yeah, yeah. So is that, does that mean this is going to get really weird it very quickly? <laughs> I mean, it's it's a drama and a sci-fi, so I have a feeling yes. Because as soon as I hear the word island, I think, okay, shipwreck. 
Probably. I'm just bummed. I'm just bummed out because the the visual novel hasn't is not even in English yet. So, which sucks because I want to play the visual. I I kind of do want to play the visual novel <laughs> before watching the anime. The the one that someone suggested for me to react to at some point for uh, well for Sana Twenty Eighteen I should say is uh Grand Blue. That's... Grand Blue, friend. Oh, Grand Blue. Yeah, that's a oh, no. game. That's a mobile oh, game. Yeah. No, 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 not, not that Grand Blue. Oh, it's not Grand Blue Fantasy, not GBF. Not, yeah, not. Oh, Grand. okay, never mind. Then. Never mind. I was like, I thought they already did that. No, there's. Yeah, an I anime... was confused at first as well. Yeah, there's an anime coming out called Grand Blue. It's right next to Island, actually, on the on Mal. It sounds okay. Oh, I'm looking so, right like... Oh, oh, okay, Grand Blue. Yeah, Grand. Grand. I was Grand. like, Grand, because I heard Grand Blue, and I was like, sorry, yeah, for, because of my throat i can't really speak you gotta, hey you gotta put emphasis on the d <laughs> <laughs> you gotta it's a hard really d you just gotta hard hit it person. use your tongue to hit the d hard duh grand blue yeah that's i like it how you hit that d anyways um but another one that a lot of people are going to be looking forward to because i constantly seen it updated on manga sites and it's pretty popular as well um isekai maoto shokan shoujo no yeah, that's how not to summon a demon lord. the what that's how not to summon a demon lord I oh believe. yeah i'm looking at it right now yeah it, like i've heard great things about it it's actually like on my <laughs> list to watch i just haven't gotten around to it um so yeah i'll watch it i'll watch it for the cat girl there's a cat. Oh, yep. I see it on the front cover. And she has yeah. long hair. It's already a giver. She's already a, t uh, she's already a keeper in your eyes. Yeah, boy. Robin, 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 are you getting hard right now? <laughs> All right, so this is going to be the end of the podcast. Um, and it is now have been age restricted, 18 plus. <laughs> Demonetized, boys. <laughs> Oh my god. Let, let's face it, we were never PG to begin with. No, no, no Jesus, are no, you kidding me? No. We just talked about three guys who were gang members are getting their dicks cut off and going to Thailand and becoming idols. That all the other guys can be like, ah, it's all hot. And then you realize it's not a guy. It's a real, no, it's not a girl. It's a guy. It's all soft all, all over again. <laughs> Uh, although granted, uh, not, although not almost, exactly as stall. Yeah, because the stall actually still has a dick. Yeah, <laughs> he still got a he still got a junk. A feminine dick? No, no, I'm a man. <laughs> 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 oh god! Just imagine like a stall kick in the door. Hello, ladies. With that real like a really oh. deep voice, <laughs> a really deep voice, and be like, "It's time to pick up bitches." <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> He's got a dick bigger than everyone's. <laughs> you guys see this one called High School Girl? Oh, High School Girl. Um, yeah, High School. Not High School. Oh, girl. High School. Not High School Girl. I thought, because I thought I, you said High School Girl, and I was, I was like, like that don't could talk be any... about don't talk about like dicks and then High School Girls. I mean, that, <laughs> that not could a good be any... combination. Whoa, whoa, not a good whoa. combination. Unless you're in high school, I mean. Oh, but yeah, high school girl. Uh, yeah, yeah I've, I've, I, I've yeah. seen it. I've heard good things. It, about I don't, school. I don't know about that one to be honest. I've heard good things about huh? it. It's because uh, it's based off a manga. Yeah. Nineteen ninety one. So it's set the year I was born. Great. Old ass motherfucker. Today we learned. Today we learned. <laughs> that Oliver is really, learn? really fucking old. <laughs> The moment I hit 20, oh god, it hurts being this old. <laughs> Man, I... Hey, someone just subscribed to me on YouTube for some reason because I'm getting a notification on my, uh, recorder. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Yeah, okay, thank you for a random subscriber. You're gonna hear that in the audio. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you just, hope, hope you like your your brief, non-descriptive <laughs> shout-out. I know, and it's and, and you're not gonna see who it is because like, you've just got the notification. I forgot to turn that off. Oops. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, okay. Anyway, <laughs> no, I've heard good things about it. Um, the year is 1991. But yeah, um... It's basically an arcade thing, and it looks like something yeah. that just seems like it's going to be like a fun to watch. Nothing too heavy. Um, they mentioned Street Fighter too, so... Maybe yeah. some romance vibes. I mean, it does say a comedy romance school, Satan. 
So pretty much this is uh, this season's, this year's season's version of Gamers. Mm-hmm. Mm, except without all the... Uh, um, Love drama. No, 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 no. What was it called? Um, oh, shoot. What was Misunderstandings. <laughs> Misunderstandings, yeah. Misunderstandings, the anime. Because I think that, yeah. that takes a spot. Although we'll see. Because actually this is going to be a good p- a point to turn into the next topic that I was going to bring up. But yeah, honestly, yeah, I can, I, I, it might be, but the next topic that I think was going to, that it would be a good place to end this podcast because it's getting to about a, a, a little bit over an hour. Um, yeah. What shows needs a second season? Oh, geez. Let me just pull out my long ass fucking list here. <laughs> all right. All right. Your in the, ass. Okay. All right. In the past two years, how, we'll, we'll narrow it down. In the past two years, what shows that have recently aired that might have come out this season, last season, but have not been greenlit for a second season or a third season or whatever, that needs another season? So, like, last two years? Last two years. Oh, Monster. man. I was going to say Monster Musume. Motherfuck. Oh, well. Uh, that, that we are, that's already on the... That's, like, on the top echelon that we need that. Well, Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Yeah, yes. it. you picked it. You already picked it. Oh, that's, uh, that's my number one. See. We're done. We're done. We're let's done. Play. It's over. Game <laughs> over. That is a podcast. Bro. Good night, everybody. <laughs> uh, let's see. I would love to see uh, a gamer second season. Um, I would love to years. see a second season <laughs> of gamers. Card Captor Sakura from. Um, that's not well, but that's already that's like technically a fourth season. Isn't no, it? No, no, I meant well. Cut Captain Sakura, Clear Card Hand, the one that aired in winter. Yeah. Uh, that needs a second season, definitely. So, there's that. that because that was amazing. Um, I guess Mob Psycho. Oh, yeah, I think that's already that's getting... Green that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, green green. that's Greenlit. Okay, yeah. Um, uh, Eurocamp. Eurocamp needs a second season. I've heard great things about Eurocamp. I need to watch Eurocamp. Eurocamp is great. Okay, <laughs> apparently the best girl is the blonde head with the big boobs. That's all I know. She's the best girl. Always, like, always, always. Yeah, because she has a fang. Yeah, she has a fang. That's why I'm like, and yeah. that's all you. That's all you need. That's all you need. <laughs> I'm like, she got a fang. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> best girl. <laughs> best girl. Ten out of ten. Um. Ah, uh, let's see. Gamers, I would love to see a second season. Of course, <laughs> yes. Kobayashi. Um, what? Okay, oh. it's not really getting a second season, but it's getting okay, a continuation. Yeah, it's Yojo Senki, or um, yeah, Yojo Senki or Saga of Tani the Evil. Yeah, I'm, I'm on. Ep- I'm. I still haven't finished that yet. Good. Oh, think so of- good. So good. But what I'm were, on, what I were you I, about to say? I think I'm on episode seven. Oh yeah, it's definitely like it picks up. It's so good. And it definitely ends on like I need to know what fucking happens next. It's not like a disappointing cliffhanger. It's like an anticipated second uh cliffhanger which is i thoroughly enjoyed but what were you about to say which needed a second season a car tonkatsu ramens from the uh, winter season okay <laughs> i still need to finish that it's oh my god so underrated it's the uh, i it's heard old, it, yeah i already finished airing but no it still doesn't have enough attention but i still think it needs a season two i heard that what well, actually might get a second season though i heard it was just a rumor was violet evergarden I haven't seen that yet. Visually, one of the it is the most visually stunning anime series for television I've ever seen. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, even though the manga is, it's just been announced that the manga is ending in like three, five chapters. From summer twenty seventeen season, the one that needs a sequel is Su- uh, Suizura Children. Oh, Children. Yes. Oh yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. That needs that needs a second season. And now that the manga is wrapping up, it definitely needs a second season. I wonder how they're gonna wrap it up though. Is it just everyone's gonna finally just get together? I wonder. I that's... think that's I, th- I think that's the case actually. I think because that's been actually been happening in the manga. They're like all the couples are starting to click and mm-hmm. starting to get together now. So I would love to see a second season of this, but it'll never happen because it's done. Netju Susume. Oh yes. Let you know so Oh, oh yeah. yes. Oh, I missed yeah. I, I, that. Was oh, and so... Animoto Sunny Robot E. Yeah. I... Yeah. 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 Uh, Alice what is else? still best girl. What? <laughs> Alice is still best girl. What? <laughs> <laughs> Alice is still best girl. I, I, will, I, will, I will sing that until the days go by. 
that uh, yeah 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 she, yeah she, she, she she's 32 okay you know what to she's, be fair okay like she's she, she's great <laughs> but she, but she just really she just lacks screen time i know yeah honestly if they gave her a complete screen time she would i think she would so if, be the was there some mojo which one were you talking about a mojo oh yeah 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 um uh, emil just say yeah, well, uh, whatever yeah a sister's all you need yeah a yeah. sister's all you need oh man that's that was an interesting show and that was a very interesting show uh, a, a show that needs a second season, not because I liked it, but because it needs to fucking fix its mistakes, is Yokoso Jutsu Ryoko, blah 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 blah, Classroom of the Elite. Oh well, no, that's well, that's that's, that's not that's that's, never that's happening. definitely not happening. That's, that's not happening. never happening. Yeah, I that know, was, I know. That was so bad that it, I didn't watch it, but that I've heard that was so bad that even the creators were just like, nah, fuck it. No, it was so it was so bad. Like the 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 fucking Blu-ray sales, it bombed. Yeah, it, it is just did it horribly. But yeah. for some reason, you want to know what did really horribly, but still got a second season announced? The Reflection. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. I so, know. I mean, it's, it's possible. It's possible. Stanley, <laughs> what are you doing? Well, Stanley didn't really have too much, honestly, yeah. influence. Yeah. But he is a like, producer. He was a like, producer, but didn't have like a lot of influence. Um, Stick to the goddamn Marvel movies. You would, would, I, would I feel bad if I said no, no. I would love to see a second season of Ear Manga Sensei? <laughs> that is getting a second season, though. Just no, so, it, just so Rama not, can make more John Chong videos. I would, no, honestly, yes. I would. Uh, if I did, if it, I, I'm going to have to make a video on the OVA, but I highly doubt Ear Manga Sensei is getting the second uh, season. Uh, i tell you what needs a second season. World End, what do you do at the end of the oh, world? Suka, Are you Suka, busy? Yes. Will you save us? Suka Suka, <laughs> yes, it definitely needs one, a second season. I I don't think... Really? How, how would that even work? To it's already it. confirmed that, you know, she's dead. Well, no, because well, well, think about it. They only, the, they only well, went off one of the light novels. There's like two other light novels that could go on. Yeah, there's, there's, two, there's two other light, uh, light novel sequels that they can work on. Man. Mm. So, I'm there's sorry, more. I, just, I don't know. I feel like the, I feel like it ended off. It, I feel like it ended off pretty damn well. I, I'm not sure how I feel about second season. Yeah, I do apologize. I got another subscription. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Congratulations. I know. I'm like, I was like, hold on, stop talking, stop talking. There's music going on. <laughs> but no, I, I, it should it should have picked up good enough. Um. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What other could use a second season that I would not mind? Uh, what about what about Boss and Magical Instructor? I I did not. Oh, like I never that watched show. that. I did not like that show. I really it, did not like it, it. It went downhill so much. They made the character, the main girl character, into a damsel in distress, and it so was many just, fucking times. Yeah. Honestly, if you want to see, like, see, that's why I should recommend Busu Shoujo Machiavellianism because all the girls are fucking badasses and will kill you. And I, I love a girl that I, I love a woman that can kick my ass. ass. I was actually just rewatching that because my brother had never seen the movie. Uh, but yeah, okay, we need a third season of this Konosuba Dashi. Konosuba. Konosuba, yeah, that's getting a movie. It's getting the movie. Getting... Yes, I'm gonna yeah. watch it. I, I, I need, I need oh, to yeah, react so to I've it. Heard. I need, I need to react to that. Um, Demi Chan, I would love to see a second season of Demi Chan. Oh hell yeah. Oh yes. I was just rewatching okay. it. I was just like, I, I forgot how much I thoroughly enjoyed this show. It was just yeah, gonna... such a fun show just to listen to and watch. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, by the way, Saki best girl. Yes. I can thoroughly agree with you on that because I feel like yeah. if I say any of the other girls are best girl, the FBI is going to come and kick my ass. <laughs> because yes. they really are like 15. I'm like, nah, I can't say she's best girl. She's great. She's cute. That's about it. Hikari um, was great too. Yeah. Yeah. Especially the, uh, the, uh, when she needed to bite. I know I wanted my best girl to be Machi, but like you know, Saki just she, she just had more screen time, and Saki, she was just too great. So yeah, Saki yeah, was Saki. Great, Saki was great. Just like from the and when she takes off her jersey and just shows it's just a regular top. How does this look? Sexy. That's oh, okay. That's okay. <laughs> okay. I was like, it was like it was great. It was like the comedy was great on that thing. I think. It... And then and then that kid fucking falls off on the tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would also love to see another episode of Renai Boken because apparently Shikami becomes honestly the best girl, and I liked her from the get go because I am a 
I, I, I like her because she can kill me. You're and that's kind of M hard. because you're, you're an M. You're an M. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I plead the fifth. I, I can tell you someone else who, who's an M. La. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I can easily tell it. He's like, he's like, slap me on my bald head. Slap my, slap my beard. Slap my beard. I bet he's like, uh, all of a sudden, sneezing. I'm sneezing he, for some reason right now. That, that gentleman, that gentleman, he has got so many fetishes. I don't you... even, oh no. Oh no, I don't even know this. Collars. Chokers, girls and chokers. Yeah, I can list them all if you want. Oh God! Oh, oh here's here's a show that needs a second season. Rezero. Yes. Yes. Rezero yes. needs a second season. I I I'm will re- fight anyone who says no. I'm reacting to that right now, and I'm even. Oh, I no, no, what episode are you on? What episode are you on? Not that far into it. I think I'm like episode three. Currently. Episode can... twelve. Episode 12. That's all I gotta say. Episode 12. I episode 12 will fuck you. No, no, no. Is it episode 12 or is it episode 14? One of those shows will fuck you up. I can't wait to see your reaction. I'm not gonna lie. One of those <laughs> shows will fuck you up. I rem- I started crying. It was just like, the amount of shit that Superhero goes through, not gonna spoil anything, like, it, like I feel genuinely bad. Oh, yeah. I will it's... have... Uh, with Zero, though, I have to say that I am... 95% blind. So I do know a few things that happen in it, but I don't know when. All you know is uh, that Rem is best how. girl, right? All you know is Rem is best girl and Amelia is trash. <laughs> I, I like Amelia. Amelia. I like Amelia already. Oh, don't worry. She becomes trash here after you meet the best girl. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like, it, it's not her fault. Amelia becomes, like, sidelined. That's why. Because the, the, the basically the girl who replaces her, um, who's named Rem, the blue-haired girl, <laughs> um, which you'll see later on. Uh, yeah, you can. T- yeah, I highly doubt you'll even uh, you'll even be like, yeah, Amelia's still best girl because Rem is so good. But it's because they gave her so much screen time. Yeah, the other one that from Winter Twenty Seventeen that needs a second season is Akiba's Trip to Animation. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I remember that show. Yeah, it was uh, honestly I I did not expect it to like it as much as I did. Yeah. Like, I, I came in for the etchy, but then I stayed for the comedy and and the uh, the two main characters. See, I I I, re- I played the original game. Wait 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 wait. Onigiri has a fucking anime. What? I didn't even know that. I'm looking at like the old like Onigiri Oni. was a game I played. Oni Oni what now? Onigiri. It was a game. Actually, it's on my desktop right now. It was a game that I played. It was an RPG, and they made an anime <clears> about it. Yeah, it's, got a, it's got a 5.45. That's why I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. Uh, but, oh, shit. Like, the game was actually pretty fun. Not gonna lie. I, like, I actually was pretty high level. I'm actually, like, like level 100 or some shit. But, weird. Onigiri is also a manga, so. Is it a manga? Yeah, it's a manga. What? I'm looking at it right now. I think. A... Jesus. It's an ongoing well, I, manga. Think, I, think, I think you just collapsed uh, Ramen's mind. <laughs> About time I did. Wait, what? what is? What are these character <laughs> names? Ibaraki Doji, Suzuka Gozen. This ain't fake Grand Order. Hey, Jin. This, I'm a Tomasu. I am, Veronica. I, I am disappointed. Hey, hey, hey! But <coughs> I think you would easily. At least, Yoshitsune. at least the Yoshitsune looks better than in fake Grand uh, Order. Oh, uh, uh, I, I've got a a show that definitely needs a second season. Kaijo. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All they need to do is yeah, add yeah, another yeah. exclamation mark, and then there you go. That's your second season. <laughs> Keijo, oh my gosh. Eight exclamation marks. Why? Because fuck all. <laughs> fuck you all. Eight exclamation marks. <laughs> oh. Honestly, the, the funny thing about Keijo is, despite like a show about freaking butt wrestling, it's... It's actually pretty good as like a shonen of some sort. Like, like, oh man, how do I say this? It's actually more, it's kind of more, it feels more than just butts. Like, you know what I'm saying? I like yeah. big butts that I cannot lie. You are the best. Demonetized. <laughs> I, I, I mean, honestly, I'm a thigh man, but. 
Although I know someone that will agree with you on that. Although I think I have found my real calling. Something like it's that a, is better than thighs. Yeah, yeah. You said you said. Uh, I, I saw you post on Twitter. It's abs. Abs. Ugh. <sighs> Girls with abs. I mean, they can RKO me. Who does? Who abs. doesn't like? Who doesn't love a good midriff? And it's abs. Just, and there's this and there's this manga that I read. It's this girl who's a boxer that has a fucking eight pack, and I'm like, that is the hottest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I can wash my clothes on her on her fucking abs. <laughs> I could punch her abs, and my hand would break. And that is I, hot. <laughs> I do love every second of it. <laughs> I'm just like, mm, mm. and and then that and then that this her fucking trainer is hook is dating her and i'm just like i hate you but you're a cool dude <laughs> and i'm just like i want to be you anyways my little thing i think that's actually a good spot to spot to <laughs> actually i'll we'll bring up one more one more show that yeah I'll, 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 I, think I, I think i got i think i got something as well all right all right yeah one the one the last last one i will bring up that needs a third season of course is new game Oh, new, yeah, yeah, I, I can, I can see that. Just because, for, just because you want to see it. Yeah. Fair enough. Just because I want to see it, and just because I need, I need, I need more, more, um, more, more best skill. I need more best skill. That's it. My best skill. That is. Uh, uh, and who, and who uh, might that be? If Oliver. Rumi. If Rumi. Yeah. If Rumi's um, best skill. Ah, uh, yes. But, correct. Wait, is correct. Correct. Right because you, you know I'm correct. Is if Rumi's best skill. Girl? No. Wait, which one is Afumi? She's the Fumi. she's the shy Burnett. Oh, shy okay, Burnett. okay, 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 yeah. okay. Yeah, because I was looking at the uh, the pictures. So yeah, for yeah. me, one of the one of the ones I want to bring out for the season two was Drifters. Really? Okay. Yeah. How many have you have you guys watched Drifters? No, I haven't. Right. I just know no, that it's by the same um it's by the same uh, creator of uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was it was it was like blood. I think I think it's a good show for um, historical fiction. Like if you if you like historical fiction, I think you'll enjoy this. Get a kick out of this show. Yeah, yeah. But I, it was it was good. It was good, bloody fun. Um, uh, Yoichi, the the fucking ancestor of a, a Stolfo. God damn, God damn that character. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah. I I guess I I guess I want more of him. Um, I'm actually looking at freaking summer 2015, and I realize just how many of the shows I actually liked that I started really looking at. I mean, Monster Musume was there, Gakugurashi, uh, Shimonetta. Shimonetta, Prison School. By the way, have you guys seen Prison School? No, I I have. It's and, and tell me how great is it? it, it it's some crazy shit. Oh, it's That's... ridiculously crazy. Yeah. It's it's so crazy episode three, but it's it's like it's so perverted in humor. I love it. I oh uh, I I still think Gakuto is the best is like one of the best bros in anime. Gakuto is such a bro. Gaku bro. Gaku bro man. Gaku bro literally shits himself for the greater good. Oh 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 actually, yes. I, f I found speaking of I didn't realize I was this like far like this far back. Another one that needs a second season, not a fucking live action adaption of it, is Gaku Kurashi. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like yeah, I was talking about that. Season. I was talking about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought Sorry, you were gonna yeah. say I thought you were gonna say Inuyashiki, which yeah, was man. which was pretty decent, but I don't think it, like but the way it ended, I don't think it, it'll a second season would work. Ooh, you want to <laughs> know what I think would need another season, a third season? Um, my teen romantic comedy snafu. Uh, I guess, but the, the, there's not much to adapt at this point. I think the the, the light novel is like done. it's almost ending. Yeah. yeah. Oh I, yeah, it's done. Yeah, I think I w I still would like to know just like just to see more of it. I guess <laughs> I would like to say I just want to see more of it. I mean, they could go fully anime original, but that's def that's not a good idea. Yeah, you would yeah. you would because I mean honestly, you would have to pick one girl, and that would be uh, you would be really punching your. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, Iroha. <laughs> you know. <laughs> teacher. <laughs> <laughs> hey, teachers, teach. Uh, I'll, I'll yeah, I'll teach, teacher's teach you. Teacher is great, not gonna lie. 
uh, especially the line is like, if I was born ten years older, she was born ten years younger, I would have fought over yeah, here. So I'm like, yes, yeah, I would pay her yes, <laughs> yes. Exactly what everyone else was thinking. I was like, what? You can still make it work. It's okay. You can just be a guy who it's goes. Only like, it's only like a ten year difference. Only man. ten years difference. The older, uh, hey, I don't care if I met a girl like that and she was ten years older than me, <laughs> mama, please. Just take that. <laughs> yeah, man. Boy, God, God, love the Christmas cakes, man. <laughs> <laughs> I would. It's just one of those things. I would just love to see more of it. I mean, it's the same thing with Konosuba. I mean, honestly, there's not much to really adapt too much outside of like the whole <laughs> Demon Lord thing. But it's just one of those things. I just want to see more of it. Any of it. I don't care. I just want to see more of it. It's one of those Movies. Things. Movie. <laughs> Movie. Yeah, I know. We're going to see more of it, but it's like... I want an actual season. Actually, from the summer 2015 season, the one that I just recently watched that was a massive disappointment was uh, Bikini Warriors. Oh, yeah. I've seen it. I've seen your your Annie List posts. Yeah, that really was terrible. Yeah, that, was, that show was kind of stupid, not going to lie. <clears throat> yeah, I, I end up giving it a three. Ooh. Wait, what was the show again? Bikini Warriors. Oh, I, yeah, uh, I, I think I, I, I think I gave it. it. I think I gave it like a six. A six? Wow, you're 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 being. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm fairly generous. <laughs> I don't even. I, I, I heard bad them. things about it. And uh, I think I think one show. Well, I guess I guess before we end the podcast, uh, one show that I need thir- need use the third season, Asterisk War, Gakus and Toshi Asterisk. So, I, so, I think that there's a good chance that I'll get it. I mean, a data live is getting a third season. I know, I know. A lot of people hated the first season, um, for for how cliche it is. And, but yeah, I agree. But the second season was just so much better because it focused more on the action aspects of it and less of of the of the I guess harem, which could be a plus or a minus for some people. I guess plus for most people. But yeah, it was it was amazingly inter- entertaining. Much better than the first season. Wait, Dana Live is Dana Live still getting a third season? Considering the fact that oh, the company yeah, the, went under. Uh, yeah, it went bankrupt. Well, I mean, I guess there's a possibility another studio could pick it up, but I guess it depends on um, the licensing company. Hopefully, praying praying to the Animu gods. Because I saw I, that's on the list of uh, shows I'm going to react to at some point. It's Dead Alive. So yeah, I've heard good things about it. Still get to do it. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully it gets the third. It gets the, the, the third season that we were promised. Oh my god! I just saw a fan or, of um one of the M4, <coughs> one of the M4 girls from Girls Frontline. Oh. Is it is it Salt Mod? I think so. Does it? Does she have red eyes? No, no, no it's not Salt Mod. Then. No, it's it's the girl that looks like I have. She has like a giant thing on her back. And the eye patch. Jesus. Christ. Oh, oh, that's M16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's her. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. Actually, you want, oh, to talk and... about mobile, you want to talk about mobile games while we're at it? I mean, you guys can. I mean, okay, uh, okay. So me and uh, Kawhi are gonna have a little gun freak out, and then you and uh, Oliver can have a, a little. Yeah, I, I, I can't. I can't say anything about the uh, gun one because I haven't played it. I highly recommend you do. So you can play yeah. with this, and then you can use my echelon because my echelon kicks Kawhi Cruz's ass. Motherfucker, what's your what's your combat efficiency? Sixty nine hundred. Sixty nine hundred. Wait, really? Yeah. Last I wait, checked, really? Yeah, last I checked, mine was like sixty nine hundred. Holy shit, bro! <laughs> I told you, I've been grinding the <laughs> hell out of this one. Man, my 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 best one's only four four K. <laughs> I have like two that are four K, but I, I I've been running them as echelon uh, as um things. But yeah, girls frontline. If you guys like waifus that are guns. Because and guns. Waifus and guns. It is a perfect match. Um, no, it's actually a very fun game. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, it actually has a lot of depth to it. Um, the storyline's fairly interesting. I mean, I skipped through it because I just want to beat the map as fast as I can. Um, yeah. But I, I like. I'm gonna like. I'm I'm playing on a second account. Uh, because I, I like using myself. That sounds weird. Um, <laughs> I need to, I need to grind my points, okay? But um, I I've, I've been playing it, and like the sword is actually interesting. The characters are all top tier. Um, there is Sundere guns. There is guns that are like I, I, there is a gun that is a Yandere. The Sot mod is a Yandere. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, she her 
Oh my god. She's like, her, oh, I can't I just... wait to go and spill their guts. I'm like, Jesus Christ, so it might be kind of hot. And her um, and eyes just pierce into your soul, yeah. man. I, I, I kind of like, like that. I love it. It's, like, it's kind of like um, you, a uh, uh, freaking um, the girl from um, Mirai Nikki. You know. You know. She's like, oh, acts all cutesy and has these eyes that are pierced right into your soul, and she's gonna kill you, and that's kind of hot. <laughs> yeah, and and girls for line, there's really a gun waifu for everybody. Yes, there is a gun waifu for everybody. Um, I, I for example, I know you would you would thoroughly like Wa Two Thousand because she's a she's a tsundere, and yeah. Yeah, but well, I'm I'm not sure how. Actually, I don't I don't have a rifle right now. And I'm, I'm not sure how, prick, how how viable rifles are right now, according um, to the setup. You don't need them until... Rifles are really good for night operations. Yeah, that's what my friend told me as well. Rif, ri, it's the rifle well, and the handgun. I mean, honestly, yeah, I'm, I'm rocking the 3AR 2SMG. Actually, did you hear about the new rifle that's coming to NA? Yeah, it's coming out. I think it's already super, out. Super, yeah, super super sass. Yeah, I'm, I'm heard, I heard it's really good. Yeah, she, And it's a three-star. Yeah, she but she cute though. She'll make a fine addition to my collection. I haven't seen her actual artwork, so I'll have to check that out soon. But yeah, I would highly recommend it. And if anyone actually plays it, put their ID in the comment section below. I'm we'll, we'll add you. I'll put I'll put mine in, put mine in it as well. Yeah, yeah, and then mine will be somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, I actually added. Who's your uh, Who's your favorite? Right now, um, shoot, I'm I'm thoroughly liking UMP nine. UMP nine. Look, yeah, look her up. Look, look up her artwork. She's fucking. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I there's like three UMPs and I can't keep track of them. So yeah, UMP nine. There's UMP nine and UMP forty five. They're sisters and yeah, both are great. I don't have UMP forty five yet, but UMP nine is um, is a uh, cutie. Yeah, for me, I I really want M two forty nine saw, but she, I don't think she's in NA yet, so that that disappoints me. But right now, my favorite is Mac ten. Mac ten, she's good. Yeah. I I just really love her design. Yeah, but UMP nine, she has like that. She has that Moe, that Moe smile, the one that looks like a three. It's great. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. And I'm like, oh, she's great. Um, she's my favorite in terms of like um just character design. Um, but in terms of like raw damage, M four A one is really damn good. Um, and also um, the FAL FAL is also really good. The the one that you you can get for free. Well, you can get if you just spend. Like $1. If, you, if you buy gems, yeah. yeah. All you gotta do is buy one dollar and you get her, and she's really freaking good. She's a great she's, unit. Yeah, she's great. Yeah, I've been upgrading her. Um, but yeah, I'd highly recommend it. Fun game. You, you can grind. You can visit other people's apartments. I actually, I actually just um added Sloan. Um. Oh, nice. Yeah, she was streaming and she finally was like, "All right, I know a lot of people are asking, so here it is." And I added, and she like immediately accepted. It. I was like, "Oh, I, I know you." I'm like, "Hey, she, rec I got recognized." Senpai, senpai and, uh, me. and what I've got one important aspect of, about the game. You can marry your gun waifu. You can marry your gun what? waifu. You really can. You had to reach yes. 100, or like I think you like you reach 100 affection, and then you can do an uh, oath. It's like an oath it takes between a, you. It takes a while, but yeah. it's possible. Yeah, I my highest I think I even achieved affection is like 68 right now, and it's not even the one I'm going after. It's like a machine gun chick I have. I know. But that machine gun chick. Well, I think I think right now I have one. I think right now I have some at seventy, like in the seventies. Yeah, I haven't. Been, I've been honestly just grinding levels. I haven't actually been grinding affection. I, I need to once I grind affection enough. Once I grind up to enough levels. Once I get like to high seventies, because like my um my echelon that I'm using as my support, um the one that's sixty nine hundred, or whatever it is, um. It's um, <coughs> it's like in the mid fifties. All of them are mid mid fifties. But yeah, that's a fun game. I know you. And then Oliver, you guys, you go ahead and talk about uh freight. Big because, grand order. Because I just started right. playing it again, so I I don't want you guys to add me until I can get some motion under my feet. That's cool. Yeah, I don't. You don't want to add get added until well. Whoops, I've already added you. <laughs> yeah, well, that's yeah, you already you know, added me. Yeah, so yeah, Fate Grand Order is probably one of the best uh, game mobile games I've played. It's it's a it's a curse. I, I consider it a curse and an addiction. A healthy yeah. addiction. Uh, no, a healthy an, unhealthy addiction. Addiction. an unhealthy addiction. <laughs> unhealthy addiction. Because we we get to play with both historical and like 
uh, what's it called? Um, and then also well, historical gang- characters. And then they also gangbangs your wallet by teasing you with what with cute waifus. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, I, it's the same way for. Uh, there's a game that I play that's also. I mean, I'm the only one who plays it in this group. It's called a uh, Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem Heroes. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many waifus. I in fact I was rolling for this one chick for so long, and I got finally got a pity break, and I finally I got some free orbs. I was like, all right, might as well. <gasps> It's just one of those great things because I actually I actually dropped money on that just I dropped over like twenty bucks just to get her and I didn't get her and then finally I was like oh well I got some free orders I did some minus so I was like yeah I'm not gonna get her. oh my god I got her and that's the thing about fake grand order as well it's like okay you you spend like a good amount of money trying to get like this one five star servant you didn't get her so you're bummed out and then you go on and then you go online you see one motherfucker gets her from a summon ticket <laughs> that same server you are going for. And I'm, and you're like, oh motherfucker, you motherfucker. You get her using, you get, her, they get her using fucking free currency. Well, and... I want to get Joan of Arc. Oh yeah, I want, Joan, Joan, I want Joan of Arc. Because, because in fact, now that I found out that I share the same birthday with this, with Joan of Arc, I what? really do want her now. Oh, there you go. I, I, I know it's also Joan day. Alter. The also one, the evil version. Yeah, which in my opinion is uh, is overrated. Fight me. And um <laughs> but yeah. Um yeah, don't all yeah, don't alter is um good as well. She does a lot of damage. That's really the only thing she got going for her. And Joan Alter is good cute as well. No, not Joan Alter, the regular Joan is cute as well. Yeah. And By the way, have you have you even have you ever have you are you participating in the event right now, Oliver? The current event? Yeah, I ha- I have been. So I've been running into characters I haven't actually met yet. <laughs> oh, because, because that... I'm still in Rome. So yeah, you're go. you're on like level. You're uh, last time I checked. You're you're still you're still level six, I think. Or level you're still six. fairly low. You're still fairly low leveled. I'm now on level. Um, I can check. I think I'm like thirty three now. Oh, thirty three. Yeah. Pretty sure I'm thirty three. Um, and I know you don't have much to your support list as well. No, not yet. I but just, yeah. I just realized there is a third UMP model. I, I'm looking at. Uh, sorry, I know it is, but but there is a third UMP model. Yeah, UMP there's 40. UMP UMP nine, UMP forty, UMP forty five. Yeah, but you can't get forty right now. I don't think so. Not in thirty nine. I'm on level thirty nine at the moment. Oh, you're on level thirty nine. Yeah. But yeah, right now on the event, I'm just I'm just um, basically uh, doing some of the raids as well as the, the some of the free quests so I can get those damn snake jewels, which norm which normally take a long time to grind for normally, and it doesn't help that I have like five or six sermons that need those damn things. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah leveling but... them up in the end is really difficult. You guys have to decide who you want to level up, get the right uh, tickets. That's, that's one of the, and that's one of the great things about events because there are some mm-hmm. there are some essential materials that like have like what a no, normally a like twelve percent drop rate or like a drop rate below ten. And events they're really good for that. They're really good for getting them like a lot easier. Oh, yeah, also, um, also, the, other thing, um, the other thing I like about Fate is that they gender bend characters. Well, gender bend. Oh, um, yeah. They, that, that, that's historical characters. Plus. Suddenly, like, Nero is a woman. <laughs> yeah, you also got a uh, female. You, got, you also Jack got uh, female King Ar- Yeah, female Jack Ripper, female King Arthur, uh, his son, Mordred. Uh, his, sorry, you mean his quote, unquote, son? Yeah, quote unquote son. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, let's, uh, Who well, I think is best girl. Up. You've got um, what's Yoshi. her name? Well, his name um, Yoshitsune, uh, Mama Raiku, aka Mama Raiku. <laughs> um, yeah, who else? I can't okay, think of a. Sochi. Can't think of the name. Um, did the Sistine Chapel? Sistine Chapel. I think it was a Sistine Chapel. Painted the um, 
the roof of the chapel. Michael oh, Da Vinci? Da Vinci. Oh, da Vinci. Yeah. Da Vinci, yeah. No, no. It, oh, yeah, Da Vinci's a girl, but what, what you're thinking about is Michelangelo, boy. I made a mistake, that's all. <laughs> boy, get your history straight, man. But, yeah, no, I'm just kidding. But anyway, uh, yeah, fake Grand Order. It's it's a, it's a damn drug, man. But but I would have it any other way. A very tasty drug, yes. Very tasty drug. <laughs> but yeah, I, once I eventually get higher level, I think I'll probably start adding people. I just need to get like into the groove of things. Honestly, Frontline is completely taking up my uh, my um interest. Well, you can you you can use me as um as you know support. Yeah, yeah because me. I'm. Yeah, for me right now it's 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 fake grand order, girls front line, and most recently Breath of the Wild that's been taking up my time. Yeah, that's good. That's definitely good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I think that is a good spot to end the podcast. I think we've been going yep. on for about an hour and forty five minutes from the looks of it. My plus or minus a couple seconds. Um uh, but yeah, we'll be leaving our IDs, or they'll be leaving their IDs in the comment section below. Um, so check those out if you guys are interested in the mobile games. Um, but this has been ROM Reviews, uh, and everyone else, I'll let you guys sign out. Uh, I'm the Kawhi Crew. Um, hope you have a great day. Um, and hashtag fuck lo- oh, no, no, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hope- well, yeah, hope you have a great day, and uh, I'll see you next time. And I'm Oliver, hopefully, from Smiley Reacts. Hopefully, my voice will officially come back and reactions will start again in the next week or maybe even two. So I'll be, be four weeks before I get fully better again. But have a nice day and see you soon. Definitely. All right, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the podcast. Let me know what you guys are looking forward to talk about for us to talk about in the next podcast. We don't know when that's going to be, uh, but just let us know what looks interesting to you guys. And until then, I will see you all next time. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. See ya.